<laughs> Bouncing and bonding. That's my dad. A favorite pastime of the Sullivans. Ready, steady, go. Nice. But these family moments are more than just playtime. <laughs> it's about making new memories. Do it. How about you? Do it. And forgetting part of the past. It's always constantly in the forefront of my mind. Ceiling fans would remind me of it, driving around in the car. Uh, Last year, Sean Sullivan was on a riding lawnmower in the backyard was... with his two-year-old son, Rowan, in his lap. So Rowan would always ride with me, and it was one of our favorite things, and he wanted to go inside to get a, a bottle. And so I let him off. He remembers the sun setting on that late July day. So I was like, okay, now's my chance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up speed, and I'm going to get it done. And as I'm mowing, I'm still looking back and behind me to my left, you know, as I'm going backwards, because the, you know, the kids are in the house, and that's to the left. What Sean didn't know is that Rowan had sneaked back outside. As I'm coming straight back, I know that this tree and this little birdbath are here. So uh, I start to wheel backwards and swing. And as I'm looking back behind me, he was back and to my right. Rowan stood waiting in my blind spot. But as soon as I hit him, I knew that it should not have happened. What happened next is a blur. I don't even remember how I got him out from underneath. I don't remember what I did. I just remember, you know, from the time, I, I honestly don't know how I got him in the car. Sean and his wife, Melissa, raised their little boy to the closest emergency clinic. We burst out of the car and ran into the emergency room and he was still alive. I mean, we thought he had lost him in the car twice. A frantic but fleeting moment of relief. His foot was uh, completely, you know, it looked like a bomb had gone off and his arm, same thing. It was just the gravest of injuries. Paramedics then rushed Rowan to VCU Medical Center. Sean recalls arriving to a room full of doctors. And I just remember it was the closest thing to walking into heaven because they're all wearing their white coats. They look like angels to me. And I, this is the worst moment in my entire life. Among them, Dr. Dr. Jonathan Isaacs. I happened to be on call the night that he came in. The chief of hand surgery knew they needed to start operating on Rowan immediately. I think everybody gets a little bit more emotional when it's a child. Doctors had to amputate his right foot, but miraculously, they saved the boy's right arm and hand. Here, I'll miss you. Say thank you. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to go home? All right, Rowan. High five. That's how we start all our visits, isn't it? Rowan now meets with Dr. Isaacs to figure out what's working and what's not. Rowan, let me see how strong your grip is there again. Squeeze hard. Oh, oh, that's too hard. Stop. Okay. But his recovery has been remarkable. It will most likely do fine no matter what happens because of that inner energy and that inner spirit. Mom and Dad say that strong spirit has helped him so far. Even little kids will ask him, what, what happened to your arm? What happened to your... And he goes, I'm tough. <laughs> and his fearlessness will propel him forward. He seems like the same little boy that he was before the accident. Rowan loves riding bikes with his brother. Can you do a higher Papa Wheelie? Nice wheelie, dude. And still even helps Dad in the yard. We have a push mower now, and Rowan goes, he has a little toy push mower, and he He'll follow Sean okay. along right with it. The father and son Wait. working to reclaim it's set. their favorite spot together. Go. It's sad, but then you always kind of got to remember how good he's doing. The Sullivans say they want to raise awareness about lawnmower accidents, which is one of the leading causes of amputations for children in the U.S. They hope by sharing their story, they can prevent another accident from happening.